Microsoft Project's power lies in its ability to create and maintain automated schedules. This allows you to manage all aspects of a task list with dependencies and resource allocations. However, sometimes you will want to control the start or end dates of a task explicitly yourself. Manual tasks are one way of doing this and you can use them for some situations and set particular dates yourself. There is one more method to do this control and that is through date constraints. On the screen I have two simple tasks which are linked to each other and let us see a simple example of how date constraints can be created and used. This can be best understood by opening a view called the task details form. To open that view, first I click on the view tab, then click on the split views details checkbox here, then from the drop down box select more views and choose task details form. This view, task details form, shows constraints very clearly. Now, for a quick moment, let us click on the constraint drop down and look at the options for a bit. You can see that project allows for eight different types of date constraints and they are structured like these in the box. Constraints are of three types, flexible, semi-flexible and inflexible constraints. We will look at those in more detail in a while. Let us select the first task on the work list and we can see that when it is selected the constraint associated is as soon as possible. This is the most flexible of constraints and is the setting done by project on default for all tasks. Okay, now let us look at the second task, on-site travel. Currently, it is automatically scheduled by project to start as soon as possible and that is when task 1 ends on 6th of March. Now, if the resource assigned to this task can only travel after the 11th of March, I will change the start date for the task. As soon as I change the date, three things happen. First, the constraint has changed to start no earlier than. Second, on the Gantt chart, the link arrow has moved accordingly. Third, if you look at the task on the table, a new calendar icon has appeared on the indicator column. This icon it denotes a constraint and if I hover the mouse over it, it shows the constraint de description. When it comes to scheduling, the more flexibility you have in your project's dates, the better. Given that, it is often best to leave the constraints set to as soon as possible if you are scheduling from the project start date or as late as possible if you are scheduling from the project finished date. A note of caution, it is very easy to introduce constraints on the schedule without your intention. For example, let us say I drag this taskbar on the Gantt chart. Project immediately introduce a constraint. I will remove the details split window now. So, you should keep an eye out for constraints in your schedule. If you find something introduced unintentionally, I will show you a quick way to remove it. Just double click on the task and the task information dialog box opens up. In the advanced tab, click on the constraint type 
and change it to as soon as possible. When you make this change, it effectively asks project to resolve to its automatic scheduling and removes the date constraint. So, in this lesson, we have seen how we can take control over projects auto scheduling and introduce date constraints to better reflect our actual project.